Hi guys, today we're looking at Deus Ex Mankind Divided and I'm just going to quickly go through all the options available in the game along with the graphics settings and options as well. Um, I've been a little bit late to the party with this game, it did release uh, you know, a few weeks ago but uh, hey, let's see what we got here. I mean, off the cuff we've got full screen, exclusive full screen and DX12 so if you're an AMD card uh, user like myself I will enable that it may benefit I've noticed recently some of the newer Nvidia drivers are also targeting the DX12 uh, a bit better now before you would use a DX11 driver on an AMD card and that seems to be changing hopefully more will come like that because most of your new games are DX12 based or in fact some AMD ones are Vulkan based which is even better so underneath we've got your display options if you've got an inbuilt uh, you know APU, you may want to use the graphics features of that, or preferentially you would use your graphics card, such as the one there. Uh, this is an R9 200 series, which is actually an R9 290X, 4GB. Uh, I am ready for an upgrade, I must admit. However, I'm not seeing anything in the AMD range yet that is worth upgrading to. The RX 480, 8GB, maybe, but it doesn't appear to be really any quicker, so we'll see. Anyway, that's a bit off topic. Um, default resolution we can go all the way up to what your card limits it to that's my card limit so obviously we could go all the way up to that should we wish uh, monitor native there and I'm looking also to see if we've got a ultra wide uh, we'll see if that's in the graphics options in a minute MSAA have a look uh, we can go up to eight times a yeah this setting requires a very large amount of video memory more than four gigabytes in order to perform well oh I guess I won't be using that then I must admit, it, it is seeming nowadays like uh, 6 gigabytes, like a GTX 1060, or preferably an 8 gigabyte card to be fair, uh, with a lot of these options, so we'll knock that down one. V-Sync, double buffering, triple buffering, and off, leave it on double. Stereoscopic 3D, leave that off, yeah, why not? Okay, what we got on graphics options then? Preset, it's defaulted to high for myself, have we got an ultra? Oh, we've got a very high and an ultra so yeah as we can see now my card is aging pretty badly i have had it you know a couple of years now so to be fair it's ready for an upgrade so i would imagine if we go with ultra we'll probably get a memory warning yep <laughs> not going to go with that are we um, ah texture filtering goes up to eight times so can we right so we've got one two four eight sixteen okay let's drop that down to four Shadow quality, this is normally something that's pretty memory intensive. I tend to find that uh, that is something to knock on the head if you're VRAM limited. A lot of you guys with the GTX 970, yes it's a 4 gigabyte card but only 3.5 gigabytes of it run at the full speed. If you go over 3.5 gigabytes you are going to get stutters and stalls in the game exponentially. So try and, uh, try and keep your video memory under, under control with one of those cards. Keep it under 3.5 gig. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, we'll leave that on very high for now. Uh, ambient occlusion, what we got? On, off, and very high. That's different, isn't it? You wouldn't expect those. Well, I wouldn't, anyway. Yeah, we'll just put that to on. Contact hardened shadows. Again, on, off, and ultra. Okay. Parallax occlusion mapping. On, off, and high. These are some strange options. You wouldn't expect to see this, in my opinion. But hey, you know. They've all got their own way of doing things. Depth of field, yeah, speaks for itself, doesn't it? Um, I'm not ultra again. I'll knock that down to very high. And uh, volumetric lighting, this can be pretty intensive on graphics cards. Uh, run ultra, are we? Okay. And screen space reflections also can be pretty intensive as well. I'd be tempted there to knock both those two down to high if you're struggling. Um, as a general rule of thumb, a lot of the consoles, the Xbox One and PS4, for example, on this particular game, will be using medium settings and no higher than that. So you've got to bear that in mind, you know, when you're trying to run this game. Okay, we've got temporal anti-aliasing ticked, motion blur ticked, sharpen ticked, bloom lens fair, cloth physics, oh, cloth physics, eh? Okay. Subsurface scattering, yeah, intricate face detail and everything with that one. Um, yeah, we'll keep that on. Chromatic abbreviation. It is not something I like. I really don't know why developers insist on putting it on. It gives that horrible bluey, yellowy tinge to all the edges of everything. 
I don't know. Maybe I'm in the minority, but I personally hate it. So we'll turn that off. Tessellation, yeah, it's got to be on it. It gives everything that, that extra bump look if you like you know makes everything stand out nicely so we'll go with uh we'll go with those settings okay um we will try and launch the game or perhaps not we had a black screen for a while as if it was going to load and then all of a sudden we got this lovely error so maybe i've bumped up the vram over the four gigabytes and it doesn't like it i don't know but really we could do an indicator of how much vram we're using I'll knock everything down a peg or two and give it a run a go. We'll see. Advances in biotechnology. We're helping people improve their physical and mental abilities so, to an amazing degree. We got the game running. Provided, of course. They and this is an working. AMD evolved a title. However, I have had to switch Not off DX12 to get it running. And in Detroit at least. So and everything is set as you originally saw, but it will not run in DX12. I've had to resort back to DX11. Industries. That Cutting is very, very odd for an AMD game and evolved game. David Seraph himself handpicked me for Let's the job. Let's have a look how it looks Said anyway. He needed me to keep his people safe. That's, uh, that's uh, constrained head. rooms too. Okay, Those so getting into really. game. Still got a couple of issues. I've got a bit of flickering going on there. And, uh... Well, I'm not looking to play dice with anyone in the there. The graphics are... Give me something with distance. Bad, but I wouldn't say they're particularly... Your call. Less chance of being world. seen and compromising seeing that way. One As last thing, Jensen. Sing intro, said that Ginny using some high sort high of portable Wi Fi device to boost Let's communications. He's got a better chance of maintaining coverage if you disable it. Used, shall we? Keep copy there. Okay, so we're in MSI. Currently. Let's have a look. Approaching the target building. Well, GPUs. You're up first, Jensen. Let's maxed. do this. Uh, what sort of memory we're we running? Yeah, memory's not heavy, shared across all eight CPU cores pretty well, temperatures are high. Frames per second, 36. Not too good. However, I did notch everything up as you saw, so we'll see about that in a minute. Can we skip this? No, let's skip it. Okay, let's see what happens when we get into actual game. Still hovering around 34, 35 frames per second. got the uh, custom fan profile running and uh, I don't know if you can actually hear it but this is a fully air cooled machine now being fully AMD that's quite a lot of heat so uh, we've got the fans I'd probably say we're in about 70-80% at the moment okay we're using Team an X1 controller Jensen, so uh, we're not on keyboard Solid mouse copy. if you're looking at the prompts Frames per second, 32, 33, and keep in mind, the direct route might 23. Not be the easiest one. Roger that. Okay, will so we've got some serious is issues here trying to run this as high as I am doing. Let's switch it over to what the game recommends, the default high setting that it originally started with. Let's just go to that. Okay, so on high, this is just a standard high preset, no toggling around. We are now looking at 33 frames a second where we drop right down to 24, so it's still not great. We're above console standards by a good margin, but, uh, you know, it's not bad. We've got, you know, some uh, decent lighting and stuff still. I think because so many other titles now show, you know, what is possible, when you get something like this, you do sort of expect more. Well, I do, anyway. Okay. How do we go down there, then? Crouch. Okay. Frames per second, hovering around 45. 40, 38, yeah, I've not seen anything lower than sort of Jensen, we're moving 36, oh, 37 fuck. now. What's wrong? The you want that lot 60 frames a second. You should enjoy it, McCready. They have colours and shapes. We'll have Just to see. remember, red means bad. Now. Fuck you. 33 frames per second. Quite a long draw distance there. What would it take to get this to 60 frames a second? Shall we see? 
let's have a look let's have a go okay so we switched it all over to medium now looking at this my cpu usage even when it was uh, set to pretty much well fairly near ultra still hovered around 34 40 percent max so it's, it's not cpu bottlenecking in the slightest it's quite an evenly spread game over all cores memory not a problem we're in uh, 16 in total there it's, it's not using anywhere near that in fact looking at it i'd say it's it's console port you know uh, mm, graphics card yeah it's, there's definitely a problem here overall because this is a medium as you can see and um we've dropped everything down quite substantially uh, i'm not at all happy with those settings myself and as you can see 42.2 frames per second right now let's round in the corner again and have a look medium setting Uh, 50 frames per second, 45, 55. Like I said, I know this graphics card isn't that young anymore, but you've got to bear in mind the 390X is basically just a slightly unclocked uh, 290X with more memory. However, we aren't using all the VRAM, so at this setting, it's not VRAM that's causing the problem. It is literally uh, game design in a way. 53 frames per second. Yeah. This is probably not the best PC uh, port in the world. This is definitely designed for consoles. Here we are now. 37, 38 frames per second looking out over there on medium. I would not want to set it on low looking at those ground textures. It's already too rough for my liking. But hey. I'd like to see this running on um, maybe a GTX 1070 RX 480, see if it makes any difference at all having the extra memory. I doubt it. Jensen, we're moving through. Oh, well, there you go, guys. Back. I think I've put pretty much the everything on the options uh, for you. I mean, there was a low preset, of course, but uh, enjoy them, I would have actually shapes. reserved there for cars with 2 gigabytes of VRAM. Fuck you. Well, I hope this video was of some use to you. If it was, please click like. You know, it does. Uh, it helps me make more of them. The more I know that I'm getting feedback on them. If you've got any questions or any game requests, uh, please drop it in the comments below. I'm, uh, you know, quite open to uh, trying stuff out and to reply to you if you've got a question or even an option to help me out. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.